Okay, let's say that uh, I have some course content. I've got a course I've developed. Maybe I've taught it before in the production server. That's the server with the students in it. And I want to move that course content over to the development server so I can keep working on it or experiment with it. So I'm going to export it out of the production server and import it into the development server. To do that, I want to start on the Manage tab in the course on the production server. On the Manage tab, under Data Management, I'm going to go to the Export Wizard. I'll choose Angel Archive. If I was choosing a file that I would take to a different system like Blackboard or WebCT or Desire to Learn, I might choose an IMS package. But because we're going from Angel to Angel, I'll do an Angel Archive. Now, it gives me the choice of whether I want to export the user data or not. This would be all of the Dropbox submissions and discussion forum postings made by each user. Uh, I'll have the choice of whether I want to import that on the other end. So if I, if I, my goal was twofold to one, to move the content from one server to the other, but also to create an archive or a backup file of my course that I could keep, I would probably choose user data. So I'm going to leave that checked. If there's anything that I want to leave behind in my course, maybe I don't like the way the, uh, the milestones are set up currently or the gradebook, I could uncheck any of these content items here. But I'll scroll down a bit, I'll hit export, and it tells me what it's doing, and then I can download the file. I see that this file is a 2.4 megabyte file. Uh, depending on how much stuff I had in my course, those, these files can get quite a bit larger. So I'll hit save, I'll choose a location on my computer, and I'll give it a name that makes sense to me. Might be the year and, and the name of the course. Okay, so it's going to download that file. Now I'm done in the production server here. And now I want to move that, that content that I exported from this class over to my course space in the development server. So I log into the development server. That's angeldev.lcc.ctc.edu slash angeldev. Okay, in the development server, I'm going to server course space. I'm going to do basically the same thing I did in the production server, except in reverse. So I can see in the space I'm in right now, I'm on the course tab, and there are no course announcements. Um, if I go to the manage tab and I go to the import wizard, I can choose content package. Before we, we did an export of an angel archive. An angel archive is a type of content package. And I'll go find my, my zip file that I created when I did the export. And I'll upload it. Now this can take a long time if you have a lot of course content. That took about 10 seconds but uh, or less, but you can take up to an hour if you have a lot of stuff in your course that you're importing. Okay, It's given me the choice of whether I want user data. Uh, I exported the user data, but I'm not going to import it. I don't want it. And it asked me if I want to migrate quizzes to assessments. That's because when I did the export file, I was in Angel version 7.1, which used quizzes. In Angel 7.3, the quizzes have been migrated over to the new assessments tool. So I'm going to migrate my quizzes. And I'll hit import data. And it's going to go through the same, same process in reverse. And I hit OK. And now I'm back on the course tab in my, in my uh, development server course space here. And I can see that where I did not have a, an announcement previously, I now have that announcement with the link to the YouTube video that was in my other course. So I know I've been successful in importing the course content to the development server. That's it.